Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Waha, Rakak, Hadash, Barakatham. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who labor in this word, and who taught me this truth. Giving all of us Akim across the four corners of the globe the proper breakdowns of the scriptures of the King James Version of the Holy Bible, all right, all through the Rakak Kodash, which is the Holy Spirit, all right. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as your confusion of face brothers, all right. So with that, um, before I head out to the plantation uh, to go work for Esau, the so-called white man, we call them so-called because there's no such thing as a white man. You're red, according to the uh, book of Genesis, chapter 25. Um, the spirit jumped on me to uh, put this video out, man, because, look, the end is near. Man, this this place, this, this world right here, this time is about to be over with, man. All right? So, right now it's the time for those of you that are coming across of these videos, you know, the especially the first and foremost, the videos of the men of Great Millstone of GMS, starting with the Apostle Tahar and the other elders on down. All right, man, right now is the time to be serious about this truth, all right, and to not be playing games. So with that, the first scripture that I'm going to get is the book of Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha. Uh, chapter uh, 5 and verse 7 and it reads make no tarrying to turn to the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and put not off from day to day for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance all right so Khan yeah you don't want to be, we don't, we, I, I, cause first and foremost, this video is to me, we don't want to make no tearing, all right? And tearing means to, for a better lack of words, to be bullshitting, all right? We don't want to be playing no games, all right? We want to be, you know, full steam ahead, okay? Uh, it says, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day, right? Don't say, well, you know what? I, I've been watching, I've seen a couple videos, I done picked up my scriptures and uh, been reading them, but you know what, I'm going to get serious about it tomorrow, or you know, I'm going to wait till uh, next week, no, I don't put it off from day to day, what you can do now, alright, uh, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai come, and in thy security, th and, and when you're in your security, you're thinking everything is all good, you're thinking you're straight, alright, uh, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. All right, so come, yeah. You do, we we don't want to be playing and putting off, man. You it, when when you wake up to this thing, man, you want to be serious than a mud. All right, as they used to say back in the day. Uh, so next up, I want to get my uh the next preset, and this is the um book of um First Thessalonians chapter uh, 5, and I'm going to start at 1, and it reads, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, okay? Uh, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So come the day of the Lord, Yahweh, it's going to come as a thief in the night. He, even his own son, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus Christ, doesn't even know when he's coming back. All right? Yahweh Shai doesn't even know when he's coming back. So that's how it's going to come as a thief in the night. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to uh, grab that scripture real quick. All right? Just to prove that, yeah, Yahweh Shai is coming back, but even he doesn't know. All right? Yahweh Shai does the will of his father. All right, he does his bidding. Um, kind of, this is going to be uh, the book of uh, St. Matthew's, uh, chapter 24, 
uh, Salakia, I can. Come, this is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, and verse uh, 36, and it reads, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking, but my Father only, all right? So only the Heavenly Father knows that day and time. That's why the scripture in uh in uh that I had in uh Sirach chapter five and verse seven says, make no tearing, okay? So uh continuing on in First Thessalonians chapter five and verse three, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape. So, kind, the uh, they're what they're talking about now. Oh, it's peace and safety. Oh, the president, uh, DJ Trump, is having peace talks, or this this country is having peace talks with that country. But shit. Then what does it say? Uh, in verse three of First Thessalonians chapter five, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh. All right. Upon them as travail a upon a woman with child when they shall not escape. All right, yeah, because once those when a woman is pregnant and she's ready to bring forth child, man, once those contractions start hitting, man, they don't stop. They just keep coming, bam, 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 one after another. You might have a couple minutes break, but shoot, they're gonna keep uh coming, man. So kind, we don't want to be uh playing. We don't want to be uh bushing. All right. So, Kyle, with that, I'm going to get the book of, uh, we're going to go to the book of Romans, chapter uh, 13, all right, and verse 11, right? And, hey, it's, I bring, hey, repetition, bros, we, I'm going to keep bringing this out uh, when, this, when, when the spirit feels need. Uh, Romans, chapter 13, and verse 11, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. So kind. Those of you uh, so that so so called Negroes, so called Hispanics, and so called Native Americans, man, shoot, now is the high time to wake out of sleep. What what and what is the sleep talking about? It's talking about being in a, a sleep of not knowing the times, man, not knowing who you are. Alright? Now is the time to uh high time to wake up. Uh, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Kind. The night is a representation of Esau, man, and his kingdom, right? Okay, the darkness is Esau. It's time for us to cast off all his ways and put on the armor of light, all right? Uh, verse 13, let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, and make not provisions for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. So come, man, right now, it's not the time to be partying and bushing, right? Okay, right now, it's the time to uh, turn on to the Lord, all right? Like I said in Sirach, that I, my jump off scripture, the scripture I started off with, Sirach chapter 5 and verse 7, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. So kind of with that, I'm going to grab the book of Isaiah. Bear with me, I can. Chapter 55 and verse 6, and it reads, Seek ye the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. All right, it says while he may be found because there's going to be a time when you're not going to be able to find the heavenly uh, Father Yahweh. All hell is going to be done broke loose, and then it's going to be too late. Okay, let me get that again. This is the book of Isaiah chapter fifty-five and verse six. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. The name of the Lord, our, the Heavenly Father, is Yahweh. 
the world just gives him a title and calls him God, but he ha you have to call upon his name. His name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. All right, and as a matter of fact, that's the only way the Heavenly Father gonna hear you is if we call on his name through his son's name. Okay, um, so Khan, yep, this is gonna be the book of Saint John. Uh, bear with me, Akim. This is the book of St. John, chapter 14, and verse 6, and it reads, Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So, Khan, we, we have to call on the name of the Lord Yahweh through his son's name, Yahweh Shai, all right? And going back into this Isaiah 55, verse 6, how do you seek the Lord? Through his men, all right? Through the prophets, all right? Lord willing, I'm one of those men. Lord willing, the videos that I make are edifying, all right? And that's how you uh, seek the Lord, all right? You seek the Lord through his men. And to get, just to have proof of that, you know, because we just don't talk and ramble here at GMS. We prove everything through the scriptures, all right? This is going to be the book of 1 Samuel's. Chapter 9 and verse 9, and it reads, Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh thus he spake, Come and let us go to the seer, all right? For he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. Okay, because the seers could see into the future through all through the power of spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai through the his words. All right. It's not of our own doing. We have the blueprint, the map, all right, and we can see ahead of time. We see that the RFID chip, the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast spoken of in Revelations chapter 13, 14, and so on. Okay, we can see that martial law is coming to this place. We can see that this dollar is about to collapse. All right. And all hell is going to break through, break through. All right. And break loose. All right. We can see those things. So right now is the time to be seeking the Lord. All right. Going back into um, into the book of Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 7. Now, let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai, and he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. All right. So kind man, the Lord will pardon you, man. All right. If you honestly and truly come unto him and seek him, and if if he's dealing with you, all right. Only the elect and the one-third men, women, and children are going to return unto the Lord anyway. So this is for you, all right? So with that, you know, hopefully this video was edifying to those of you who may come across it. Once again, I want to say, call Holonium, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wahabra, Kakwadash, Barakadam. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who labor in this word, and who taught me this truth. I also, once again, want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you, Aki, and my fellow laborers that are out here pushing this gospel, which the word gospel means good news of these holy scriptures in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, and you so-called Native Americans, as well as you confusion of face brothers, all right? So with that... I want to say a ball, 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 and shallow one.